Hey guys, we are going to divide a mixed number by a mixed number. All right, exciting things happening. If you are feeling very grumpy right now because you are not wanting to watch a fraction division video, I'm sorry, you're allowed to be grumpy and I hope I can help you, <laughs> okay? All right, so when we're doing these, okay, what we want to do is we wanna turn these into improper fractions, okay? Stay with me, okay? Um, I'm gonna link a video if you need a little more explanation on how to do this, but I'm also gonna do it right here for you, okay? To turn this into an improper fraction, we take our denominator, okay? We multiply it by our whole number, okay? So six times three gives me 18, and then we add what's in the numerator, okay? So three times six gives me 18, plus two gives me 20, and this is still over three, okay? If that felt complicated, the more you do it, the more you'll get used to it, and it'll just kind of become second nature to you, okay? All right, so we are dividing this by two and a half. So we're gonna do the same thing. Two times two gives me four, plus one gives me five, and we're still over two, okay? So this fraction and this fraction are the same fraction, just written differently, okay? Same with this one and this one. It's much easier to divide these when they're improper fractions, okay? The reason they're called improper fraction is because the top is bigger than the bottom, and apparently that is very improper, okay? All right, now, this is the part where you're gonna be like, that was too easy. When we divide fractions, all you do is you take the second one, you flip it, which is called the reciprocal, if you want the big word, and we multiply, okay? So we're gonna take 20 thirds. We are going to flip this one, so it is two fifths, and then we are multiplying. That's how you divide fractions, guys. It's way easier than adding and subtracting them. Why is it easier? Because when we um, multiply them, you don't have to have your denominators the same. Okay. All right. Now there's two ways we can simplify this. We're going to get the same answer. One of them we just simplify first and one of them we simplify second. Okay. So first one, we're going to um, multiply first, then simplify. So when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. Okay. So 20 times two gives me 40 over three times five gives me 15. Okay. And then we always want to make sure that our fractions are as simplified as they can go. So I noticed that five can go into both of these. If you are not super comfortable um, reducing fractions, I'll link a video in the corner. Okay, 40 divided by five gives me eight. 15 divided by five gives me three. Okay, so I have eight thirds would be my answer. Um, that is the answer as an improper, or sorry, yes. I was right. Don't question yourself. All right. That's the answer as an improper fraction. If you, if your teacher wants it as a mixed number, we can turn it into a mixed number pretty easily. So we just see how many times does three go into eight? Well, it goes in twice, right? Cause two times three is six. Um, two, two times three is six. And then, so that would leave me with two left over, right? Cause eight minus six gives me two. So this would be two and two thirds. Okay. All right, the other way to simplify this would be if I have, so I have my 20 thirds times two fifths. Okay, before you multiply fractions, if you notice things that can simplify, you can simplify them before. So I noticed that five goes into five and 20, okay? So five goes into five once and five goes into 20 four times. Okay. So I'm just simplifying before instead of after, but I'm doing the same thing. You'll notice I took a five out just like I did here. I just did it before I multiplied. Okay. So then we multiply straight across. So four times two gives me eight. Three times one, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, gives me three. And again, it would simplify down or go to a mixed number the same two and two thirds. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. Check out those other videos if you were like, how did she turn that into a mixed number or how did she simplify that? I will link those videos. Um, but hopefully that made sense. Bye.